What's up guys, Control here, and today I am playing a deck that you guys have asked me to play a metric ton. Uh, I've been asked to play Dane's Reno Hunter for a really, really long time. So today I decided, uh, before I move, I would just go ahead and throw this up. Uh, I went on Hearthbone, and um, just went on the Hunter section, and at the very top was uh, Dane's own Reno Hunter. So I kind of grabbed it, and... Um, yeah, playing it. I, I really like certain cards in the deck. Uh, one that stand out for me is just Dread Scale. Absolutely adore this card, man. Uh, it's been one of my favorite Hunter cards for a really, really long time. I actually played it in uh, one of the first decks that I played in Wild. It was like a Mech Hunter deck. Uh, I played Mech Hunter a deck with uh, Metal Tooth Leaper before the card was OP. This one in the, the top two Tavern Brawl before this card was a meme. played that in like an aggro Mech Hunter deck. And I played um, Dread Scale as well. I played this a little while ago too in like a mid-range hunter deck a couple of metas ago. Probably like Mean Streets. Uh, when Dude Paladin was just first popping up, this card was really good because it was a solid counter to it alongside Alicia Hounds. Uh, but really good in this deck because again, Paladin is kind of on the rise now, so it's super good for that. And I get some fun Dane cards in the deck like MC Tech. I know it's a big uh, big card on his channel. He's got some emotes with that, so that's kind of sweet. Played with that earlier today too with like a, a Shutterwalk Shaman deck, but yeah, just fun card. Um, and then you got basically all the value death rattle cards and cards that kind of help you with that, like Shaw, Umbra Cube, uh, and then obviously your engine, which is just Rexar, man. Uh, Rexar is basically all the value in this deck. It's got a ton of uh, just early game cards that help you survive. Uh, cards like Dirty Rat, they kind of interrupt combo decks like Druid. Up in those kind of situations to get into that are quite sticky. Um, but um, yeah, this deck's pretty straightforward, just like Death Rattle Hunter, very anti aggro in nature with like a little bit of value packed in and the occasional potential to um, just pop off with huge plays with like Umber Cube and stuff like that. We're already pretty familiar with playing Umber and Cube and Hunter though with uh, Egg Hunter, but this is um, clearly quite different, right? Reno build, play Reno Jackson in Hunter. You guys always ask me to do this in the non Cabal classes, so being able to do it in um, Hunter should be fun. It's definitely going to be different. And uh, I, I assume interesting, so uh, I, I don't think I'm going to play this deck as well as Dane does. Uh, I know he set Legend with it and stuff before, but um, let's see how well I do on my first spin. Rexar versus Troll. For well, we've got the classic the hunt begin. Reno Hunter against what is most likely a even Shaman. I like to keep tracking, because after I see if he's even or not, I can pick a card that's good against his deck. We have turned our curse into our strength. Dread skill season, and yep. It is the curse into our strength deck. Well, um, yeah, I like this card. It's like, you know, Rexar's effect for a Death Knight would be so broken in an 8 class that isn't a Hunter. It's not like as broken as Goldan, but like, infinite value plus like AoE and armor is just so good, and it only really makes sense in Hunter when the class completely lacks those things. The Elec Man. It's a good curve play. Really solid in this matchup. Forcing doesn't really do enough, but um, did something. Never thought I could lose that. I mean, all of us really crazy in what it does, dude. I think it's actually really normal that I lost that game. I'm playing a fun deck against like a super medalist, so it's just like almost expected. Like the bow more than the red skill here. So now if he goes like totem golem, I can just like swing into it and play the red skill, and it still clears. Or that too. It's like a one health minion, it's a good pop. Let's see what the outcome is though. Swang. Chugga, 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 chugga. If he full trades this, I'm happy. If he ignores it, then I can coin self and trade into a big one. Okay, no big deal. Swing, trade the totems. Kinda sucks. This card's really good for the deck too. It's actually ridiculous how easy it is to like, get insane value from it. That's happening way too often. It's really annoying. Uh, I just played a belt here. It's not great. It's okay though. It creates well with the two threes. Aya. 
What does he trade one? It's weird. Um, I Chan, hello. Welcome to my side of the board. Welcome. Attack buff does not matter on that. I will take Chugga Chugga as well. That's not bad. So now I go Glaive. I have Sylve Coin Fain Death as well next turn, which is, I think is really powerful. Could even coin the freezing here, but I don't think it's that strong on I to be honest. Um, place around Portal to do it like this. Two health matters right now, but I think it's fine to play around that. So I is dead. Mic? What's happening with my mic? Elaborate, please, kind sir. Mm, Death Stalker is quite good here. So I Death Stalker. Yeah. Sylve's going to be good later on. Death Stalker is just like always good now. Um, I might even coin Freezing on the 4 4 to be honest, just for tempo. Good idea, I'm kind of low. Swing, okay. It's fine. Totem's annoying. 5-5's five, five, fine. I love. And the opponent loves shamans. Feel, totems feels okay, man. Um, yeah, I like my board with two 5-5's. Five, nice. No Let's uh, steal this shit. It's one of the fun yeah. things you can do this deck is take their stuff with Sylv. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. 